Auntie Kathleen Walker of the Eastern Cuckoo Yalanji in the Wujul Wujul community in North Queensland regularly visits her ancestor, the waterfall, thanking it for its life-giving force. She is now asking the waterfall for life in the form of electrical energy from a planned small hydroelectric project. If they can acquire investment, this will be one of the first Aboriginal-owned power stations, helping Auntie Kathleen and the Wujil Wujil community care for their people and participate in the booming renewable energy economy. We got to have our own um, house sourced out of our waterfall here. Be useful when the wet season comes because the power will always going on and off here. Any industry that we can be getting economic participation in, we want to capitalise on it. We want to utilise the resources, the land that we have. It's our only resource, really. It'll create jobs and be an asset of our own to help us fund and govern our community and the wider region in eastern Kubu Yalanji country. You can't return to country if the backbone network isn't there. It's fundamental, it's core. It's our stated intention that the community to align this infrastructure. We have a long way to go working with the government on how the community can get a beneficiary of that sort of infrastructure. And don't our traditional owners deserve the right to make decisions on their country that impact for the benefit of their people? This is the opportunity for us to give something back to our people. Auntie Kathleen and the Widgel Widgel community are asking the Australian and Queensland governments for capital investment for the hydroelectric microgrid so that they can care for their people and country. <laughs>